Governor Sawolu of Lagos State had blamed the federal government for the widespread of COVID-19 in Nigeria. Sawolu, who had demonstrated his competency and ability to plan ahead for unforeseen circumstances in the past, lamented during an Insta Live interview on how federal government had disrupted his plans of ensuring that COVID-19 is not head of in Lagos State. According to him, he had made necessary plans to curb the pandemic even before its arrival. He stated his awareness of how large the population of Lagos State, hence he realized there was need for him to plan ahead in order to ensure that lives and properties of the citizens of Lagos are secured. Among his plans and strategy to go about tackling coronavirus before its arrival was that he had set up facilities and training officials. He also mentioned that the trainings were about to be wrapped up even before COVID-19 surfaced. The governor said in the interview that Lagos State was able to track the index case because of the because they were prepared ahead. Zawolu started stated that Nigerians and the federal government should have realized that our population in Nigeria is a large one and that then that should have sent signal that COVID-19 surfacing in Nigeria will not just be a spike, will be out of just like that. According to him, necessary steps and procedures had been carried out on his part to ensure that his people are not affected, but he could only do less as Lagos State is just sub-nation. Sanwolu had blamed federal government for their non-talent attitude towards COVID-19 from the very start and inability of travelers to self-isolate themselves. In the interview session, he mentioned how federal government has been reluctant to carry out necessary actions before the virus finds its way into the country. How then is federal government to be blamed? He said federal government was responsible for late airport border closure. Sanwolu said he had waited patiently for the federal government to close the airports and borders in order to prevent its entry into the country as he couldn't do anything on the airports and borders were closed. It was reported that Nigeria recorded her first COVID-19 death on the 27th of February 2020. However, President Muhammadu Bari officially shut the country's airports, seaports and borders on the 29th of March 2020. I begin to wonder why on earth did it take a whole month for federal government to take necessary actions including shutting down of all entries into the country. As a consequence of federal government's incapability, the citizens had to pay for it. From my research, it was reported that as at 29th of March 2020, when borders were closed, Nigeria had recorded and confirmed 111 cases of COVID-19. Imagine what the federal government had cost the citizens. The sad news, according to Sonwolu, is that Lagos State may be recording large number of cases very soon as over 4,000 samples had been tested in Lagos State. However, more would have been done, but testing kits were rationed. Drawing conclusion from what the governor of Lagos said, it is obvious the federal government are insensitive and selfish set of people whose interests are far more important than the well-being of the citizens. Until this set of people begin to prioritize the interests of the public above their own interests, I don't see Nigeria going forward. Hmm. I don't see Nigeria going forward. <laughs> the deed has been done already. There's no need for us to start uh, party uh, or shifting blame or transferring blame to uh, uh, whosoever. One thing is that himself, the governor of Lagos State, <laughs> they are the same. They are they are in the same party. I think they should be able to understand their language very well. So there's no need of saying, oh, maybe uh, the opposition is the one at the center. So not them, them. They should be able to speak their language. So who is to be blamed? But like I said, the deed has been done. One thing that we need to do, the masses need to do, is to be careful. Those who, who are seen in the category of saying, oh, now lie, now lie. No, it is a scam. It is not a scam. <laughs> like we've been saying right from time, 
those who have been affected will have a better story to tell. They will know they know what they have been going through. So it is just for everybody. And just like tomorrow, and I could I know that uh, in one uh, some news have said that the the governor has told the civil servants not to resume tomorrow again. That they, that means they need to stay back. But for as many that will be going out tomorrow, I know everybody is eager to go out. Everybody is eager to make ends meet, to make money. It's a good one, but in that nobody people should not just be careless or forget themselves. This thing is real. Please take good take good care of yourself. Don't just live yourself like that. Don't just live a, a carefree uh life. Just be conscious of everything. Be conscious of everything. Even in my opinion, I don't think the we need the government to be telling us what to do and, and what not to do. If you love yourself, if you love your life, if you share your life, you just have to do everything possible. Even those things that they have already mentioned that we should try to abide with all those uh, directives. We should even go beyond that as in as individual. Go beyond that. Think outside the box. Think outside what the, the directive the government is giving. You know, you need to have some of the things that I'm, I'm sure a lot of things that the government could not even pass on to the people by training, by teaching people. Most especially those who are using what is it called? This uh, face mask. A lot of people are using it anyhow. I see people and I weep. The way people are using this uh, 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 face mask is just appalling and so disheartening. Instead, some people will, you know, let's assume that you are talking to somebody who has a whatever and the person is speaking, you know, you might not see it. Uh, the thing will not be entering, you know, at the, what is it called? The surface of that uh, a, a, a face mask. You will not see some people, they will not still use their bare hand to be adjusting it. They will be touching it. They will take up and down. At the end of the day, I saw somebody before, you know, the person will just use hand to clean the nose, clean the eyes. Then what is the essence of the nose mask? Mask in the first place. After using your hand to rub the surface, you see the same hand, you put it on your face, you put it on your, uh, you know, to scratch your nose. Because there's no way you cannot, you are not going to be scratching your uh, nose or your eyes unconsciously by default you don't even know before you know you just want to your hands will just be on your face so if you see use the same hand to touch the surface of the face mask then you see use the same hand that means there's no job done there's no job done people just need to think outside the directives the government has given you need to take care of yourself because they will not be there with you nobody's going to give account Nobody God is going to give account to them you are going to need to account for your life that is just what i want people to do most especially those who enter public transport you just have to think outside the bus that what do you need to do what are the things that you're supposed to do so for for those who do not have car so you need to think outside the bus but unfortunately a lot of people are not even concentrating but those people are just concentrating on what they are going to eat what they are going to eat and it goes beyond that if it's those who are alive that will be able to talk of food those who are dead nobody will talk those who will not talk about anything everybody needs to be careful that is just my own opinion so for the Sanwolu, the governor will be blaming but it's neither here nor there. The deed has been done. The whole thing is just there like that. So it's just for everybody to just take responsibility of his or her life. That's just it because there's nothing you are going to say from now to tomorrow. They know the 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 Oga at the top. They know the Oga at the top. They know his kind of person, what is capable of doing. So there's no need to start uh, trying to blame anybody. He has tried as a person, of course. Kudos to Sanwulu. He has really done a good job. He has done noble. He has done noble. As uh, someone says, hmm, if federal government didn't lock on time but when they did at last and you are giving 10 billion naira to take care of Lagosians, hey during the lockdown mr governor what have you done in your capacity to make sure people remain locked up okay this person say very very long this thing another says blame yourself because you chose to be a slave boy and you don't have words of your own so sad that you started very badly and I advise you to be a man for once. Must you wait for them before you give orders? <laughs> no, of course, in that those are federal, federal, federal airports. Uh, the state governor does not have power to to start blocking or unlocking. Wow. Hmm. Someone says here that uh, true revelations are the force is not from you, but from the federal government. Federal government refused to lock down border on time because of their selfish motive that is the reason why plenty numbers of covid-19 cases 
in Nigeria. So guys, I'll let us hear your opinion concerning what uh, the governor is saying that he has tried his best, but the federal government has already uh, jeopardized all his efforts. Uh, that's what he's saying here. He's lamenting over the situation, blame federal government for uh, Lagos predicaments. So guys, let's hear your take on this. Do you really agree with the governor? Whichever way, let's hear from you from the comment section.